Well, you guys, they were right on the money. Crews here, they started at exactly 7 o'clock on the dot, and there is no way that anyone is crossing this bridge between 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. We've actually seen a lot of people get stopped and have to turn around, but the issue for people that I talked to here in East Haddam today is that turnaround and how long it's going to take them to get across this bridge versus their normal reality. It's just a part of life in East Haddam. She's talking about the East Haddam Swing Bridge over the Connecticut River, one of the last operating bridges of its kind left in the United States. It's been in use since 1913. The people find the bridge charming. They come and take pictures. We get brides coming in the middle of the road taking pictures with the bridge and people watching it open and close. But all of that is going to stop for a while, at least for the overnight hours. For the next couple of weeks, from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m., crews will be working on structural, mechanical, and electrical improvements on the bridge, along with an addition of a sidewalk for pedestrians that will hang off the side. With all of this comes a shakeup in people's daily routines. I go to Dunkin' Donuts every day. It's going to kill me. She's not the only person taking daily trips over the bridge. Destiny Agnew starts her shift at 4 a.m. sharp, but the journey there will start well before that now. Yeah, I have to drive around, up and around 149, up 151 to go through Portland to get on the highway just to go across the bridge. The sign detour route is 30 miles long between the Baldwin Bridge on I-95 in Old Saybrook or the Aragoni Bridge between Middletown and Portland. Now, town leaders are asking people to be patient as the crews begin their work. We kind of have a love-hate relationship with this bridge because it is a beautiful bridge. It's, I believe, the last remaining swing bridge in the United States. Um, it's, it's just a, it's just part of our landscape here, and because of that, we'd hate to see it go away. And you guys, this delay is expected to be until January 20th of this month and a 24 hour traffic camera feed has been set up so drivers can uh, can keep an eye on the bridge and the traffic conditions at all times. For now in East Haddam, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61 News.